Uh, moving on now, though, Orlando Bloom plus Scott Dooley. Roll the tape. <laughs> you have to hand it to Orlando Bloom. He's been in a whole bunch of terrific films. He always seems polite and keeps himself out of trouble. And he married this girl. Now, for a bloke to marry Miranda, you should have married me, Kerr, and not have us all want to attack him in the car park of a suburban nightclub is a pretty good effort. Starring in the latest screen version of The Three Musketeers, it was great to chat to him about a few things, like his costumes. Love the outfit. Very retro. The, the clothes and stuff. I, <laughs> I, I bet you had a right laugh at that. <laughs> yeah, it was... The it purple, was... purple and blue and the pompadour haircut. Yeah, yeah that's yeah. right. But I was thinking, do you, do you ever keep that? Because, I mean, yeah. you would just... I dress up in that at home, mate. Are you kidding? Yeah, of course. I walk around the house in that stuff. Because <laughs> your son... When your son gets old enough, that is, like, how he'll know he's in trouble. Like, you just wear <laughs> yeah, that. I'm just going to walk out as the Duke of Buckingham. <laughs> so, listen, there's an airship outside. You're in trouble. Yeah. Look out of the window. Round two. You play just the world's biggest dick. And he's not like <laughs> but he's not like a classic supervillain. He's almost no. like a passive aggressive school teacher. Like, what uh, did you base it on? Um, I thought of him as a bit of a big petulant child. Yeah, right. You know what I mean? Like he's the kid who's got um, you know, the biggest toys in the and can kick all the sand in your face in the sandbox, do you know what I mean? Mm. So I had a lot of fun. Yeah, he's a big bit of a bit of a prick. If a he was around job. today, he'd have a reality television show. He would I'd be marrying a professional athlete. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Having a son, Flynn, in January, Orlando and Miranda have been tabloid favourites ever since. I find it really uncomfortable seeing people asking you really personal questions yeah. about that. Do you find that is an invasion? On you, like I've, I, you know, people say, "So is your wife breastfeeding?" It's like, dude, that's none of your business. <laughs> hey, yeah, yeah, it's a little bit, um, you know. Why are you going to ask me if my wife's breastfeeding? Oh, it's all I'm saying. <laughs> that's all you want to know about, isn't it? <laughs> no, it's great. It's like you know, it is a little odd, you know. Yeah. Certainly aspects of it, but that's part of the job, isn't it? Well, yeah. Some of it. Well, it shouldn't be, like, because you would never ask that at a dinner party. You might. Never... You might do. If you're like... Depends where you... I mean, listen, there's a few dinner parties I've been at recently that are very different to the ones I used to go to. <laughs> a lot of women talking about a lot of things. Family or, and well, child orientated. Have you got kids? No, no, no. no. I, I can't How have old are plants. You? 31. Right, yeah. Um, so, yeah, no, I I'm, I'm the worst You'll guy. see, it's really interesting. It's the conversations that come up over dinner when, you, when you've had a kid. <laughs> Over to cinemas October 20. We'll be back after the break. <laughs>